Alright, so hi guys. Um, today I'm going to be doing a haul video and today is going to be a NYX and a Coastal Scents haul video. So since I've always been doing Coastal Scents hauls, I'm going to start with the NYX stuff first. And NYX stuff came in this bag right here and I bought this stuff when I, they were having the sale um, for the 4th of July on, I think they had 40% off site wide. So I only got about 8, eight things or something like that. So yeah, let's get into the video. If you guys want to see the stuff that I, I have to haul, keep watching the video. Alright guys, so the NYX stuff came in this bag right here and this is just a mesh bag. It's a really, really cute bag and this is a sign here. I paid, I think, about $27 for all these stuff that I got. And the first of the stuff that I picked up were two lip liners. The first one is in 812 Plum. Um, if you're on YouTube, you know that a lot of people talk about Plum. And the next one is in Deep Purple. Now, if you're thinking about getting these, these lip liners, I'd either say just go with one of them because these are the swatches on my hand. The top one here is Plum. And this one is deep purple and to me on the lips you can't really see the difference they look exactly the same to me so um yeah these are the two lip pencils that i got um nyx also gave me a free gift and the free gift that they gave me was the nyx color lip balm and it's in a grazy grazy or grazy and if you know the raspberry kool-aid this literally smells like the raspberry kool-aid and this is the color i'm gonna try and swatch it so it has a light tint of color but it smells really, really nice. And I thought it was really cool that they gave me a gift. So, um, And I purchased directly from NYXcosmetics.com. Um, you can sign up for their subscription letters. They always have sales. So you that's when I bought color. Um, they always recommend three blushes. And those three blushes are Cinnamon. My girl Jammy. Jammy uses that blush all the way. And she's the reason why I got the blush Cinnamon. That's the first one that I got from NYX. Um, I hauled that before. But let me see if I can find it. And show you guys a swatch of it. So this is cinnamon and it's like an orangey blush. Let me swatch it. So this is it. You can't really see it on my hands but on my cheeks it's beautiful. So the one I bought was in Desert Rose and this is kind of like a muted pink shade and it's really really nice for my skin tone. So if your my skin tone are darker I think this one would be so pretty. This is it. So I don't know my camera is washing out these colors. But yeah, you get the idea. The second one that I got is the NYX blush in Terracotta. And this is just literally a um, rose gold blush. I don't know if this blush is for everybody because it's not like a color. It's like a highlight to me. But I use it on my blush area anyway. And this is it on my hand. So it's a legit like a rose gold color. But I absolutely love it. It's so pretty on my cheeks, especially for the summer for the glow. I'm not wearing it on my cheeks today, guys, but it is so pretty. So I love it. So these are the three NYX blushes. Um, the next thing that I got was the NYX Matte Bronzer in, what, Deep Tan, I think. This one was a fail. It's not a bronzer at all. It's matte, so it doesn't have any shimmers. So usually when I buy bronzers, they don't work for my skin tone. I have to end up using them as a highlight or something. But this is exactly my skin tone i only have to use it as a face powder i can't use it to contour or anything sorry i can't use it to contour or anything this is the color and this is the color of my skin this is my skin tone so all i have to use it to do is as a face powder because i cannot use it as a bronze as a bronzer or a highlight or a contouring powder anything so um this was a say so if you were thinking about getting the next brand and i think this is the darkest shade and it's my skin tone so if you were thinking about getting these bronzers i'd say pass because if this is the darkest shade and i'm not even like the darkest shade in foundation but i'm um I'm, I'm dark skin yeah i admit it i'm dark skin but they, i'm so disappointed in this and i don't know why i picked it up anyway but yeah that's the bronzer i also picked up two lip products and the two lip products that i picked up are something that everybody has been talking about on youtube it's the butter lipsticks and the butter gloss i just wanted to try them out so i got one of each for the butter lipstick, I got the, um, and look at the container. Now, the packaging really sucks. I don't think anybody talks about the packaging, but for me, um, literally when you have the cover on and you're twisting it, it can twist up into the package and break off or whatever. But it's a really pretty shade, and I got mine in Razzle. This is it right here. Razzle is really, really pretty. If you have Milani's Rose Hip, let me see if I can find Rose Hip. This is Rose Hip. This is Razzle. They're pretty close. This just looks a bit more lighter to me, but they're pretty close in color. So, yeah. 
that can give you an idea of the shade if you're not seeing it properly. The next thing that I got is something that I absolutely love and it's the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Um, I absolutely love this gloss. It's like a really, really nude, neutral gloss. And it's it right there. It kind of has a pinky undertone, pinky beige undertone and it goes perfectly with my skin tone. So if you are my skin complexion, you can definitely pull off this. I thought the rave was just another rave, but trust me, this is like no lip gloss I've ever, ever, ever tried. So you guys could definitely go out and get this. Um, the next thing that I got was a NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat Liquid Foundation, and the color that is in is Chestnut. Chestnut matches my complexion, but I have been using two foundations now, and it's the Elf Foundation and the Black Radiance Foundation. And those foundations, despite the cons, and I will be doing a review on the Black Radiance Foundation shortly, but despite the cons, those foundations look really, really good on my skin. They look really skin like this. It does not really look skin like on my face. I will be doing a review on this as well, but I have other things to review before I review this. But I tried it on my whole, my whole face, and it doesn't really look that skin like, but it is matte, and it does say what it does what it does. So yeah, this is the next same same matte but not flat, and the color that I'm in is chestnut. If I didn't say that before. Alright, so from Coastal Sense, I ordered something from Coastal Sense before. I didn't have those things because all I basically bought was let me show you these containers to deep up my um banana banana powders in. So I bought about twenty of those, and they sent me this uh, reveal two sample. Yeah, so um all I basically got. Let me try and shake it up. All I got was four shades from the Review 2 palette and on the back of this they said they are going to give me a code for a $5 gift certificate to get either the Reveal 1 or the Reveal 2 palette. So I was just like, at first I was just like, I'm not really interested in the palettes because I have a lot of palettes that I don't really use up. So I have not been buying any palettes. But I, the reason why I ended up going to Coastal Sense and buying it because at the same time that I got that code, I saw that Coastal Sense was having a sale on the Hot Pots for 99 cents. So I love those things. I have 12 of them already. Let me show you guys. And I had to go and get some more. So, and then I ended up getting some other stuff because I wanted to reach to 50 US. These are the Coastal Sense Hot Pots that I have before. I want to get to the 50 US to get free shipping. So the first thing that I got was the Reveal Palette. And this is how it looks. I'm not going to do any swatches. Um... Whatever you hear them say in reviews in terms of anything good about this palette, it is the truth. It's really, really slim. Look at that. It's perfect for travel. It can hold in my makeup travel bag. And it's this bag right here. And by the way, the next video that I'm going to be doing is a video on what's in my travel bag. And this thing holds in my travel bag. It has a lot of neutrals. The only thing I'd say about this, I wish it had like a orangey reddish brown for my crease. Because I love that kind of brown for my crease. But it does have a few matte shades and a few shimmery shades. And this is a perfect, perfect neutral palette. Um, I also got the Camouflage Concealer Palette. And this just basically has 12 concealers. And then I picked up the 28 Interchangeable Pants from Coastal Sense. And I'm going to tell you guys the shadows that are in here now. So for the first shadow, the first shadow that I have is this one right here. And it's called Charmé Nude. The second one is a Light Taupe. Um, the next one is Tuscany. I think I had this one before, but um, I mix up everything in this palette, so I don't remember what's new and what's old. Um, this one is Chocolate Hair, and this one is Deep Rose, and these are perfect for tree, um, transition colors and for brow bone highlights. I use this one. Down here, the color is Amber Bronze, Canon Coral, Amethyst, American Rose. Right here, I have 18 Karat Gold. This second color doesn't have a name. I see HPME03 for the color. Um, right here it's bright yellow, right here is um, vibrant pink, right here is deep grey. Yeah, so that's it for my haul guys, that's everything I got. I tried to go through this video pretty fast and I, hopefully I won't come back with another haul because I've been buying way too much stuff that I am not really using. So I'm trying to use up my stuff now but I do have a wish list of some stuff that I really want to get and try. Once I do get them you guys know I'll be doing a haul. So thanks for watching, subscribe, like the video, comment and I'll see you guys in my next video.